So what we want to do is is create some form of widget uh, that's going to be on your website. Create a face feedback widget. For, uh, feedback simply the process of capturing support tickets. So uh, I don't know what the difference between the form and the widget is. I'm guessing the widget's embedded in the the form. I think the widget's something that pops out, and the form's just something that sits on a page, right? So let's look at the widget. So we'll create a widget. So we want it to be, uh, yeah, so we want it to be, this is what it's going to look like. We've got options to change it. We've got options to change titles. Thanks for your feedback. Uh, I'm just going to leave it as that. I'll I'll do deeper lessons later. I'm very wary of making this video 20, well, two hours long. So I'm just going to go with the default stuff, right? I'm going to save it. And it's going to say, embed this script, uh, embed. So if you want it to pop up, you would do this. If you want it to embed, you would add this side, and then some areas will, um, depending on where your website is, sorry about what I'm saying, as I'm looking at other things. So if you want it to pop up, you're gonna add this code. If you want it to embed, you're gonna add this code. And if you want it to, uh, if it needs to be an iframe, add this code. So let me just go here and embed this code in a post. Let's go Zoho Desk. Now this may not work on this forum because the embed Zoho Desk test embed a widget. And then I would, did I grab that code? I would grab that code, embed code, and paste it here. Now, if it works straight away, I would be surprised. Yeah. I'm, where's the best way for me to show you this? Um, let me just pause you and I will unlock. What happens is on this forum, I have to say, yes, it's okay to embed stuff from that domain. So that's why it's not showing. So let me just change my settings so it'll work and then we'll talk about it in a second. 